A word of the day. A word of the day comes from the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 7. And it says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instructions. The Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instructions. You know, this fear is really not of fear of being afraid or terrified of the Lord. He doesn't he doesn't want us to walk in that kind of fear. The fear of the Lord is truly the respect we have for the Lord. The fear that we walk with him, that we put our trust in him and we have faith in him. That he knows what's best for us. And he will guide us and lead us and he protects us and he blesses us. That's the godly fear that the Lord is talking about. And that is knowledge. The Lord truly wants us all to be able to understand him and know who he is. And we know that we are all works in progress. We are just beginning to know God's ways. Jesus truly said that he is the truth, the way, and the life. Those, that's the fear we need to come to the point where we need to know his truth and his way and his life. This is why we're here. We're also here to love G God and love people. That's part of his way. In Deuteronomy verse four, chapter, I mean, chapter four, verse six says, therefore be careful to observe them. For this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the people who will hear these statutes And say, surely this great nation is wise and understanding people. We do not get our wisdom and knowledge and understanding from the world. This is why we have the Bible. This is why we have fellowship. This is why we have God. We can see that the great nations that we look around and see that it's all headed for doom and destruction. We definitely don't want to follow that. There is no wisdom, there's no knowledge, there's no understanding. There's no discernment, there's no coming to the Lord. It's all man's ways, what man wants to do, and, and, and all the leading of where the man thinks everything should go. And we see in this world that no one agrees, because if they did, then we wouldn't have all this violence and all these wars, and, and we wouldn't be doing evil in the sight of the Lord. So we surely have to understand that, you know, the people in the government and the, all the processes that will not, is not what the Lord wants us to follow. He wants us to put our faith and our trust in him. He wants us to seek his wisdom, his knowledge, his understanding. Praise the Lord for that. In Job 28, 28, it says, And to man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom, and to depart from evil is understanding. To not follow the ways and understandings of this world, that's the evil that God wants us to depart from. We have the Bible to show us the wisdom and knowledge of the Lord, how to live and what to do, we have him who fills us with his Holy Spirit. If we listen for his voice, he will speak to us. That is God's wisdom. We always want to have the wisdom. And it's always for the wisdom of the Lord. In Psalms 34, verses 11 to 14, it says, Come, you children, listen to me, and I will teach you the fear of the Lord. who desires life and loves many days that he may see good. Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Depart from evil and do good. 
Seek peace and pursue it. Amen. We do not want to follow in the ways of the world. People will tell you, you know, an eye for an eye and evil for evil, and that's just the way we should do it. But the word tells us we cannot, we can only fight hatred with love. We can only fight everything with love. To pursue love, to pursue peace, to be a blessing to those around us, to walk in God's light and in his spirit. That is wisdom. In Psalms 111, verse 10, it says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding, having all those who do his commandments. He prays, his praise endures forever. Amen. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. That's the big fear of the Lord, knowing who the Lord is. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for this word today. We thank you that we want to seek your wisdom, your knowledge, and your understanding. We know that's the way to get through this journey. If we understand that, we will all be blessed. We will be okay because we know that that is the true way to follow you, to be able to surrender everything to you, to let you lead us and guide us. We know that you have blessings for each and every one of us, and we will come into those blessings. Help us to keep our eyes focused on you and to seek your wisdom and your discernment, to listen to that voice, that in our, your still small voice, and fill us with your Holy Spirit today and bless us all today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you all peace today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you all. Have a wonderful day in the Lord.